And it is an earthquake in British politics. It is a remarkable result. And it does have, I think, profound consequences for the leaders of the other parties. Uh, Clegg, Nick Clegg, to whom I'm personally extremely grateful because challenging, challenging us to those debates really kicked off the whole European election campaign and allowed us for the first time in 40 years to put the argument why this country would be better off outside uh, political union. Uh, but Clegg, I think, uh, his position as, as a result of last night, uh, I find it very difficult to believe that he will lead the Lib Dems into the next general election. As for Mr Miliband, it is difficult to think of somebody who is more out of touch with his own working class voters than Dave, Danny Alexander and the crew. And I think the calls upon them uh, to offer a referendum ahead of the next general election are going to become enormous. I personally think that after the Scottish referendum, around about the conference season, uh, Miliband will offer a referendum. But if he doesn't offer a referendum, if he doesn't do it, he will then become UKIP's greatest recruiting sergeant. So the choice really is theirs with Labour. And as for David Cameron, well, in some ways, he emerges amongst the other leaders, I would say, the least scathed. Yes, there are still big divisions uh, within the party, but perhaps the test for David Cameron will come in 10 days' time. Uh, because UKIP, with a wind behind it, has got momentum. And in 10 days' time, there is a by-election in Newark. And Roger Helmer here is our candidate. <laughs> and so the plan short term for us is very simple. The People's Army of UKIP now marches on Newark. We will do everything we can in the next 10 days to help and aid Roger's candidacy. The Tory majority there is simply massive. We're being asked to climb Everest in the space of two days, but we're going to do our absolute damnedest to try and pull off an even more spectacular result. And if we do that, then I suspect Mr Cameron will also begin to feel some of the pressure. And after Newark, uh, what we have to do is to look ahead to the general election of next year. Now, it would be absolutely ridiculous for me uh, to stand here uh, and say, go home and prepare for government, because that ain't <laughs> going to happen. But what is perfectly realistic is to say, don't just look at the European election results. Look at the local election results that happened on Thursday. Look at the English county election results that happened in May of last year.